welcome back to another video. Today we're back in the boat again. We're trying to get this mini add a battery, dual battery system all set up. I've been to Walmarts, I've been to O'Reilly's, trying to find all the pieces and parts, but I finally got everything. I even ordered some stuff off eBay. So let's hop in the boat and let's look at all the pieces. Alrighty, so here in the boat, look at my mess. I have a pile of wires. Of course you need your drill. I have all my battery cable. It's four gauge wire. We have heat guns, screws, extra wire, all the cutters. And then in here, it just looks like a freaking mess. Um, I had to pull the wall out again because the two cables that run up to the main fuse block, they're too short. They're tied up in here in the wiring harness. And I do not want to have to put the mini battery accessories or whatever you want to call them onto the board right next to the amp. So I have the amp right here. This is all the amp wires. And then of course, I mean, it's just a mess. So I'm going to clean all this up and get it nice and organized. And we're going to be putting the mini out of batteries back up here next to the fuse holder. So everything has plenty of depth. So no water is going to go on it. We do not want any water touching it or getting corrosion on it. Alrighty guys, quick update here. We have the terminals all loose on both pieces for the mini out of battery. We're going to mount the two brackets. Then we're going to wire everything up. I've cleaned up quite a bit. This is kind of what I have. I had to extend once again, the red and yellow. Now they've run out of the same hole as the motor and the batteries I think are gonna be right here. We're gonna have our house battery and then of course our start battery. Right inside we have the switch and we have the ACR. Now one thing I do not like about this is that they want you to run a ground and then you almost have to 90 it off because the way this mounts on, it hits that stupid cable every time. So I really do not like that bend. I do not like that design. Alrighty, so I got all the battery cables made. And let me tell you, it's not easy. That's very thick wire. We have to run one cable to the AC, MCR, ACR, one to the switch. So there's two per battery. There's all four cables. All we have to do now is run a ground which I'm gonna cut next. Now, I do not have a negative bus bar. So I called them, tech support was awesome. And they said, if you do not have that negative bus bar to basically combine one negative cable to each battery. The big one here is the one that intertwines both batteries. So negative runs down, it's right there, to negative. Alrighty, so we're making some good progress. We have everything hooked up. I have everything tightened down. The only thing I have not done is mount the battery boxes because I wanted to make sure where, where I wanted the batteries to make sure all the cabling will reach before I lock that part down. So I'll show you inside. Uh, still gonna put the lids on and we're gonna get the boxes mounted down and we're gonna take it to the lake this afternoon, test it out. Guys, yeah, so here we have it. Here's the final product. I am 100% done. We have the amp, the two battery boxes. I think it looks awesome. It does take up a lot of room, but uh, that's the price you pay when you wanna run speakers and a bunch of other electronics. Everything's tucked away, running nice and neat. Everything down here, it does look a little crazy, but it's not terrible. House battery, starting battery, everything's run, everything's nice and neat, nothing's crammed anywhere or anything of that nature. You can still get to the light pole, which I don't have it in, I'm about to put it back in. And uh, there you go. Still got plenty of room for extra stuff. Alrighty guys, so there you have it. That is the dual battery setup. I wanted to be very brief. I didn't want to get too in depth with it. I have a huge mess to clean up and let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you have any comments. Otherwise, we will see you on the next one. Hopefully another sunny day. Have a good day.